For our last question, uh, it is, what are some non-standard room dorm room, dorm room essentials? What? Dorm room, <laughs> residential life, something like that. <laughs> so oh, residence know. halls. Residence halls. Okay. Yeah, residence halls <laughs> essentials. <laughs> it's enforced now. <laughs> God. Um, so besides like the standard fridge, clothes, bed, laundry stuff, yeah. um, some things I like to have was actually dryer sheets, not just for the dryer. If you say what I think you're gonna say. Be impressed. I have two reasons for dryer sheets. One of them is <laughs> because it is a very t- small room, and there's a lot of smells, <laughs> and some people have smelly feet or smelly shoes. So you can actually put the dryer sheets in your shoes, and it helps with the smell a little bit. Also, there are mice that come into the room sometimes. Um, so actually, if you put dryer sheets like along the walls, it kind of prevents the mice from coming into the room. Peppermint. Is that why you were? I put mine in the pillowcase. I just like the way it smells. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressive. Not, okay. yeah. Always impressive. Pillow always smells mm-hmm. great. I know it always smells great. What is smart? Yeah. Um, something else. The lavender scented one. Ooh, help you sleep. I have that one right now. There you go. I don't put it in my pillow, but I might now. It will help you fall asleep. Lavender scented <laughs> oils. <laughs> I mean, that's like putting the oil on your pillow. I know yeah. some people do that, Essential. but then it's like just wet. Oh, damn. Don't I do that. Have you ever seen those? No. no. I, mm-mm. no you, but Fabrice has a um a spray bottle where you spray the pillow. You wait five minutes and then you fall asleep. I okay. Tried it once God. and it was just like my pillow was wet. <laughs> That's why you wait five minutes. I waited. <laughs> Maybe it was like a ten minute. Put it in front of a fan. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Fans. 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 Yes. Check the check if your residence hall they has air conditioning or any type of central heating. Most likely not. Mm. With like, yeah. if you're in a four triple, that's a lot of people in yeah. one room. A lot of stuff. Gotta get high and get like one mm. that like attaches to your bed, which so just yes, yours. just yeah, bring two five. Like yeah. Clip lamp. Clip fan. Bring yeah. five fans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something else I recommend is a, like a steamer, a mini mm-hmm. steamer. Um, I don't like my clothes to be too wrinkly yeah. and usually you have like limited space for your mm-hmm. clothes. So you have to like squeeze them, like bring, pull them, like not pull them, roll them up so they fit in yeah. <laughs> the dresser. <laughs> so when they come out, they're all wrinkly. So yeah. a steamer is easier than an iron. You yeah. don't need like the board. I've recently, I feel like they work yeah, better. I've recently gotten into steamers and love them so much more than irons because you just take your shirt and you hang it up and then you steam it and you don't need the ironing board they take up way less space yeah also for life. sometimes um I, I think irons weren't allowed in my residence halls we had them uh, but you they had to have the auto off feature oh okay mm-hmm. steamers are probably the same not that probably. they're gonna check but <laughs> probably smart anyways mm-hmm. yeah or if uh, if you don't want either of those, you can just take a shower and then put your clothes outside the shower. Does that, Does that work? That's you? a pro maneuver. Sometimes it's uh, if you got the resources. It, I've tried it. Maybe at if home, it's like a small enough a shower, shower it's like, it doesn't work for you. It doesn't work for me. Uh, maybe it depends on the clothes. If linen you have versus the extra cotton. quarters, I don't know. Do they still use quarters for oh, the dry cleaning? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's dry another thing. <laughs> <laughs> they also have dry cleaning. Dry cleaning. The dryer. Yeah. Yeah, there are some because places. Because if you huck ice cubes in the dryer with your clothes. That's what's the help what? too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh I still do that to this day. Yeah. So then you're going to need an ice rack yeah. thing. Right? Ice okay. tray. That's what it's called. I was going to add. Um, in a fridge. My school has Drive flex dollars <laughs> on our ID cards, but sometimes the flex machines would break, and then no one would have quarters. They would come to the RA and be like, hey, you can have quarters. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not a bank. I, I don't have quarters yeah. myself. Um, Just <laughs> pull out rules. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I do not never, hide those never things. Never use your quarters. Always save them for laundry. Yeah. Yes. Have a Fact. backup. You know, create a penny jar, mason jar, whatever it is. Have a backup. Start saving now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Save all your quarters. <laughs> That's real cases. money right there. It is. Honestly, I saw people come in and they'd be like, these are my quarters. And it was like a pillowcase filled with quarters. That's awesome. Like, yeah. Smart. It's also a master's worth. It, if you want clean clothes. Costs yeah. two things. Quarters for your laundry. And if you get mugged, it sounds like a weapon. <laughs> you can whip it around. Save the yeah. pillowcase rips and all the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just start checking. Yeah, no, that's money. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. something I don't recommend, and this is just a personal thing, is those um, laundry detergent pods. Oh, a lot of kids no are get snacks, guys. Like oh, they're not snacks. No, oh. please don't. 
Uh-huh. But a lot of kids got them because they were, like, they traveled well and they were yeah, easy for storage. I and I got them. got them. But I found that, like, measure. they don't work that well with cleaning clothes. And, like, the little plastic stuff would, like, stick to your clothes and it's not easy to come off. I used those the first two years and then... Or even, I think, just the first year. Maybe the first year and a half. I don't remember. Yeah. I got rid of them at some point because I was like, this is great. I use mm-hmm. them... Because I was lazy, and I was, I was like, yeah, pod, throw it in. <laughs> you get a pod. <laughs> I, was, I didn't want to think about it. Um, and then whenever I would go home, I'd be like, oh, measurement. Okay, this yeah. is a good amount. Um, when I cared, I would measure like yeah. that. But it's when I didn't care, I just threw, I threw it in. Yeah. So, laziness. You should, you should also separate your laundry. Supposedly, I didn't do that for most of college. I, I did my freshman year. Yeah. I did my freshman year, and then I was like, uh, buck fifty for a load. Right, right. No, it's too, uh, it's everything's too going expensive. in one. It's. I mean, I'm mad that my school now I think is enrolling the laundry into the housing fee. So I'm mad that it's included now. But back then, I I would There's put so all much of my clothes. If it was included. Yes. Like, yes. One shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really like these pants. <laughs> <laughs> I wore them for ten minutes. Yeah. There's a stain. You yeah. just have every single washer going yeah. with one piece of clothing. <laughs> yeah. No, because then you'd be the, the worst person ever. I do. Everyone would hate you. Uh, All right. Does this ever happen to you guys when you go into the laundry room and your clothes are just thrown off? On the oh, side, yeah. Soaking wet? You're clean. Yeah. 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 Like, seriously? Oh. You couldn't have at least put it on top. I always put a tables. timer on my watch yeah. or my phone and yep. I go down like yeah. two minutes after the timer left. One, They would just be soaking, like sitting on top of a dryer yep. and I'm like, it's literally been two minutes. Yep. yep. And then your clothes down. get stolen. Don't do your laundry on Sundays. I've lost yeah. five pairs of pants because of that. It, like, it's not. I used to do laundry. I used to do laundry. Stole laundry. My pants. <laughs> if you if you become an RA, you have to do rounds. Shopping. She go just open it up. What do oh. I want today? Yeah, honestly, yeah. it was a free for all. Yeah. Oh. Maybe just keep an eye on your clothes. Just stand yeah. next to the washer dryer, or 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 if there's a study room next door, just study yeah. next door. Wash <laughs> it from with afar. binoculars. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Uh, Take it out. <laughs> but to go along with the laundry stuff, if you don't want to pay for a dryer too, you could get a foldable dryer rack. Oh, yes. And just dry your clothes, yeah. especially like yeah, it delicate stuff. takes like twenty four hours. It does take a while, but your room smells good, so yeah. it helps with the smell. Yeah. Make sure it's not raining or humid because then it'll take longer. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. put a fan on it. There's, there's techniques. Yeah. You gotta look up the techniques. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, something else I had in my room was an electric like water kettle. Because I like to have like tea or hot water. I also had a lot of soup. We weren't allowed those. I wasn't allowed those. I either. probably... No, I think I was allowed. <laughs> check on your campus. To Sorry, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, check on make sure you can have it. But it was like... It's like a hot plate? Um, or the kettle itself would be it's hot. It's like... I guess a kind of water heater. Water. What? You've never had a water heater? No. Oh, they're great. Oh, it has I like a plate them. that can Yeah. Oh, oh, you like, it sounds like a, you I put call it the, a hot plate. Oh, okay. I think we're talking about the same thing. We're probably talking about the same thing, but when I think of hot plate, I mean like, and I think, I'm thinking an actual hot plate yeah. that like heats up and it's just its own thing. This is one where you... It's two parts? It's two parts. Yeah. It's a kettle and then you put it on top and then the bottom yes. part heats up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I also wasn't allowed those. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, make sure you're allowed it. <laughs> but it's so really cool. quick. We complicated like many of those as an RA. Yes. <laughs> I was so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Takes like a minute. I, I don't know. Uh, the microwave was uh, my resource. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, continue. No. Don't forget um, shower shoes. Football yes. Clothes. That's really gross. Yes. Don't walk into the bathroom. Don't They're assume nasty. don't assume that anything is clean. Assume mm. that everything yeah. is dirty. <laughs> Even if you just yes. saw the cleaners go into the bathroom, it's dirty. It's already. still yeah. dirty. Bacteria exists. Yes. It, it just the worst. Okay. Oh. It's a shower caddy. Oh yeah, oh, shower, shower caddy's caddy. good. Yeah. So um I got mine from LLB and it still works. It's yeah. great for traveling. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. actually really good. I got mine from a sterilite man. From a what? Great. Sterling. Oh, no, mine, mine like, <laughs> folded up. man? <laughs> from a man. <laughs> you can unfold it, hang it on stuff. Yes. That one, yeah. You or you could use the little, the little, like, oh toolbox kind of shoe. That's the one I got. Yeah. I, yeah. It was a, mine was, like, a cloth one, but it's, like, a... Ah, uh, yes, yeah, I know like, exactly. It can't get wet. Yes. Like that. Uh, it's really great. So I'm just going with the holes in it. Oh, yeah. It's like, what, like, Yeah. Yeah. No, There's so many guys. 
Yeah. yeah, I would I would suggest ones that either dry quickly or that wouldn't if it's in like a dark damp area wouldn't collect mold because yeah. it's constantly being in the shower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's a good good resource. Mm-hmm. What, yeah. else, what else we got? On there? Um, mattress mm-hmm. cover. Mattress cover. Mattress yes. cover. Bed bug protector because bed Ugh. bugs are real. I don't want to talk about it. It's very <laughs> common in colleges. There's a spray that you can spray that will like allegedly kill them. If they exist, so you just spray it on and then you... <laughs> if they exist. Or also just watch... If they exist in your bed. I know they exist. Exist in your bed. And then you put the mattress cover on top of it. They also have pillow... <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to have to bring your own pillow, but they also have pillow covers. Yeah. So use one of those, two to keep them out of my pillow. They're really, really gross. Yeah. And also and hard to get rid of. <coughs> wash your sheets off more Two often. pairs of sheets. Yes. Yeah. One on, one in retainer. And then wash your comforter. Like, I mean, you can wait till you go home, I guess, to do that, but... Just wash it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just wash it. <laughs> just do it. Be sanitary. Think think of those things. Mm-hmm. That's uh, for not shower related stuff, but those <laughs> fold out cubes. You know, like the wire mesh ones. Oh yeah. Just to put stuff in. For storage. Yeah. It not only is it uh, easy and useful for storage, but you can break them down super easy too. Mm-hmm. It's just got that circle peg with the cross in it, mm-hmm. and then it yeah. all pops together. Um, super useful. I got a trunk at Bed Bath & Beyond, mostly because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I was like, I want a trunk to go to Hogwarts. So, but um, a lot of people would have a trunk because then you can fit a bunch of stuff in there. I put all of my clothes in my trunk all, all four years um, because it was just easier and then it's like, here are all my clothes. They're up. And then They're just done. get some bed risers, put it yep. under the bed. Yeah, bed risers good. Yep. I always thought it was cool having like a high bed too. Yeah. yeah. It is safe. You want to save like a lockbox? Jeez. That <laughs> you want like a lockbox so that you can put things like your insurance card, your social security card, your yes. passport if you live near a place that's near the border like I did. We went up to Canada and that's not, th- those documents that you don't want lying around. Um, you want to be able to put them in a safe place and then you can hide them inside your trunk. Yes. I also think extra chargers because mm-hmm. I always had like a charger in my room and then a charger in my backpack and then maybe one more lying around somewhere because I always mm-hmm. lost them headphones. and I'd be like in class, headphones. my phone or laptop yeah. would die. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah bring multiple headphones because those things get lost. They die. People they steal die. them. Lose them. Yeah. Break them. Your headphones them. die? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's a, like the Bluetooth. Oh, I, the Bluetooth also. I just like out the wire. Even the plug in <laughs> ones, sometimes it just like, I don't know why, but. There are a couple pairs where I can only hear out of the left ear. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's like because it gets line. tangled or whatever. Probably. It doesn't yeah. matter. That happens Life hates me. Too. That's fine. It's <laughs> the worst things happen. Yeah. I think um, it's not allowed in most dorm rooms, but the George Foreman grill. <laughs> <laughs> High quality. Or, or you can talk to your RA and have the residence hall buy a George Foreman grill. Oh. Uh, right. Is that what you did? No, but, uh, I, I wish but that. you can. <laughs> <laughs> it might we, be yeah. an option. We had a kitchen in the last room that I when I was in RA. We had a kitchen, and you could keep stuff in the kitchen. And several people had Keurigs there yeah. that they would um, use, and they were like, "You have to buy your own pods, but you can use this, or don't touch my stuff." Um, so you you were allowed to have trust. things, but it had to be stored in the kitchen. I'm like. There are going to be a lot of people with hot plates still in the room, yeah. and you know what? I confiscated a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, "This has to stay in the kitchen." And there were a lot of people that followed the rules too. There's also someone who lit a candle warmer, did not turn it off before vacation. We uh, had to call campus safety. Yeah. Um, for a different reason, I don't remember why, but campus safety threw hot wax all over everything. We're like, yeah. now we have to deal with this yeah. student did, uh, being mad at us. Did Ricky Martin song start playing when that happened? No, because <laughs> that would have been. Fantastic. <laughs> no, but it was just like hot wax everywhere. It was gross. And we're like, you're not supposed to have this. Number one. Number two, sorry, got all over everything. We didn't touch it. Yeah. Yeah, well, not our the fault. George Foreman grill, though. You can make steaks, <laughs> make burgers, you can panini press if those you, If you live in an apartment, the George Foreman grill is the best thing to have. It really is. I use my George Foreman all the time. Essential kitchen. Don't bring Especially if it's it. the one with the removable plates, because then that just goes in the dishwasher. Right, yeah, I didn't have that one, oh. unfortunately. Yeah, the old-fashioned one. I had Mach 1, George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle didn't want his anymore. He's like, take it to college. I'm like, yes! <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Or um, if you live in a cold area, a heated blanket. 
Um, Because you can also just, like, if you're one of those people that you're bold and brazen, you can bring it to the library and just plug it into the wall. Study Mm -hmm. for a long time. Be warm. Yep. (laughs) 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 It takes some confidence. You may look weird, but you're warm. (laughs) On that note, um, hot water bottle or a heating pad and definitely ice packs. Yeah. Because um, if you're like me, I get injured a lot. First first aid kit in general. Oh, yes. First aid. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. first aid kits can come in handy. I yeah, I needed everything in my first aid kit all the time. Mm-hmm. I feel like band aids. Um, aids. Um, a always... sewing kit is also handy because I would. Not ri- if you don't know how to use it. <laughs> 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 yeah. so otherwise, you just yourself. Just I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be inebriated when using it. Mm. Um, <laughs> Or if you don't know how to use it, find a friend that does know how to use it, and then just have... <laughs> and then you have a have, sewing kit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you can sew, I got the kit. Yeah. <laughs> two, two come together. In general, just learn how to sew simple things, like how to fix a hole in a shirt, sew a button it's on. It's a YouTube video there's, way. Yeah, a yeah. YouTube video or a WikiHow page. Yep. You know, there's so many I actually things. watched a YouTube video to do it, and it worked for like a day, and then I go back to the shirt, and it was undone. So just yeah. make sure you did it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I probably didn't. Obviously yeah. didn't. <laughs> just duct tape it. Just, <laughs> duct tape. Tape. just get a new duct tape. Shirt. Bring, Bring duct tape. Duct tape. Yeah. duct tape is useful for everything. Duct tape, masking tape. Don't put them on the walls. Nope. <laughs> put them on everything but else. If there is a problem that cannot be yeah, solved by duct tape, yeah. Tylenol, or a yes. cry, it's not worth solving. Ah. That's <laughs> quite, quite a <laughs> <laughs> Some smooth jazz. I'm just gonna <laughs> bring oh, smooth jazz and all these. Smooth jazz and the ice cream. <laughs> yes, that's number one priority. Bring a pint of ice cream and your favorite jazz music, and life will be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Well, I think one more thing I have is uh, plastic bags because oh, yes. if you go to the uh, dining hall and you want a snack for later and you don't have snacks in here, you can just like. But fruit or just make sure you get chocolate good at chips. Sneaking it out. <laughs> yes, because yes. a lot of times I they won't like let you do plastic that. Plastic bags are like low key. Yeah, or just put it in your bag. Like sterilite. I was gonna say if like you got <laughs> if you have like large thermoses um, or just like large uh, bottles that are not see through, you can uh, kind of put food in there. And <laughs> it looks like it's a drink. Coffee I'm just mug. saying that's what I did. I you put food in mug. my uh, my yeah. mugs, <laughs> uh, and then I walk it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I would do that. I would literally just wrap bagels up in like tissue paper and like put them in my backpack yes. on the side that they wouldn't see. It was like yeah. in a, like an outside pocket, and be like walk by, like finally good to see you. You cut, you cut it up into sizable bits and you put it in the in the Tupperware in a mug. So now whenever I, I see you with like ice a cream sundaes in a the thermos, yes, ice cream sundaes in a thermos keeps it cold. Yes, yes. You, oh my god, it's uh, dangerous. Habit. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's also you pay for the food. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's all it's worth it. You pay it's a lot. It. So you might as well I take mean, advantage of it. 5,000. 100% validating this. Yeah. <laughs> take advantage of it. 